This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs> Okay, today I wanted to share with you this tone that I dialed in. It's actually kind of based on the same sort of template as this one, which was based on a Lone Star kind of lead tone that I dialed in a couple of weeks back. And Instead of using the Lone Star, for this preset I decided to use the Derailed Ingrid. In the intro there as well, I had my tone knob rolled off a little bit on the uh, bridge pickup. And that kind of softens it a little bit and brings out some of the um, kind of upper harmonics for some reason. Anyway, so the settings are, and also you can grab this preset on the, the Gumroad link in case you've not grabbed those before. Um, and I'll include with that the cab that you need to get this working. Right, so dynamics, the Vesta Juice, um, we're using that. It's a compressor essentially, but kind of gives a bit of a boost to, to the tone as well. So we're using the Vesta Juice with the amount at 0.83 and the level at 0.65. Then going into the top secret OD, which is the Dodd OD 250 model, gain at 7.4, level at 5.9. Then the important part, we're going into a Trainwreck Express that has the name Ingrid. Um, this was a real amp in real life made by Ken Fisher, um, a one-off because it was called Ingrid, has a horse on it and stuff. And uh, we're using the drive at 6.9, bass at 5, mids at 5, treble at 5, presence at 4.8. Everything else stock except at the end here we've got a bright switch uh, which does make quite a big difference. So at the moment I've got it on one. I might move it to two if I was using humbuckers. Um, zero. But 
But yeah, I like that on one. But if I was using some humbuckers, I might move that to two. And then also you could consider dropping these mids a bit. Um, and this still plays pretty nicely. <laughs> Okay, after the amp, and I might, might experiment with this as a template for some more tones because I do think this is working really nicely. Um, the EQ low high shelf, we're using this to kind of add some low end feel and low end rumble. Um, you can consider taking this out in case you're finding it too muddy. <laughs> If I was riffing, I'd probably keep that out. Uh, so that it gets slightly less muddy. But when lead playing with the bridge pickup of a strap, We're just kind of adding some of that low end trouser moving stuff. Um, in terms of cab, this is the JC cab, which is in the foldering if you're wanting to try this. Um, but yeah, the high cut down at 4.9 kilohertz, without that, it'd probably be a bit more spiky. <laughs> Kind of do the shave and haircut thing where we're kind of taking off some of that really uh, kind of airy stuff. Okay, then delay settings we've got an eight dotted note and a right dotted note, and then we're going to go 83% on the left, 60% on the right, mix at about 26 and 25, and using the vibrato mode here, speed. 0.5 depth 23 spread 7.1 trails on then going across to the legacy 63 spring reverb decay at 3.4 low cut 86 high cut 3.9 mix at 33 percent and uh, yeah that's how that ends up sounding so that's kind of another really cool lead tone um, got a bit more kind of of that almost fuzzy quality to it compared to this one can do that really nice sustaining thing almost on the edge of fuzz almost bringing some of that octave through so yeah use the gum road if you want to grab that from the folder and i'll catch you in another video soon feel free to like subscribe cheers